you guys have been requesting this video for the longest time and today I'm gonna make you all happy. Today I will teach you how to cook the best elk steak you'd ever have with the help of some magic powders. If you ask any experienced hunter what is their favorite wild meat, 95% of them are gonna tell you that it's elk. And then the question will be why? And it is because besides the rush of hunting such a magnificent animal, elk meat is highly prized for its flavor, consistency and health benefits. But if you're buying the meat from the store like I did, this meat is going to be coming from an elk farm. There are several elk farms here in the U.S. and most of them are located in the northern states like Colorado, Montana and Washington. This meat from the store won't have the same gamey flavor as a wild elk, but it will have all the other characteristics of the animal. Strong red colors, low in fat and high in omega-3 are some of the great things this meat has to offer. In fact, it has less fat and cholesterol than veal, chicken, beef, or pork, and is high in protein, iron, magnesium, phosphor, potassium, and zinc. Elk meat is one of those foods that are really healthy for you, and at the same time, they taste really good. The taste of elk is similar to beef, but it has a little more flavor, just enough that you know you're eating something special. Elk meat can be a substitute for beef in most recipes with a few small changes, but since you know it's really low in fat, it is important to remember not to overcook. And yes, this meat is going to cook quicker than beef for sure, and if it's overcooked, it's going to get dry and tough. But it's not difficult to cook at all, all you have to do is follow a few basic rules. And the first thing that you want to do with your meat is to add your favorite spices. In this case, I'm going to be using this one that my friend Neil Serap just released to the market. This rub can be described as sweet and soury, with some special peppery into it. It is not meant to take the gamey flavors out of the meat, but it was created especially to complement those natural flavors the wild meat would have. This rub will work perfectly with wild game, including elk, venison, boar, pheasant, dog, and even gators. First, we will add a layer of oil to the meat, so we can get those spices from the rub stick on it. Then, we will add it to our steaks exactly as we do with an elder rub, and you should really try to cover every part of your meat with it, as you really want those flavors in there. This rub is not really high on salt, so based on that, we will be adding some finishing salt to our steaks once they are done and ready to go. And of course, if you want to learn more about this rub, I'm leaving the links in the description. And now with these steaks looking beautiful and smelling amazing, we're going to let them rest for about 30 minutes, and meantime, let's slide up that grill. Same as beef, we will cook this meat until it reaches 120 degrees internal temperature. The only difference is that it will reach that temperature way faster than if you were cooking beef. If you don't really want to get too stressed about it, you can regulate your grill temperature so it's not too hot. And then you can relate on your instincts to check your steaks with your thermometer until the temperature gets to what you want. Once the internal temperature of your steak gets to 120 degrees, we will sear it. This process will also be fast. Instead of the 2 minutes per side I always do with my beef, this time it will be 1 minute per side. I have some little steaks here for you. I can see that these are like teeny weeny. But they are supposed to be good. What is it? Should I tell you? Yes, you should. You know what? You should try it first. Okay, let's Let's go. see if you like it. Let's all see. Right? Are they all the same? They're all the same. There is nothing on number A and number B here, nothing on that. There you go. We have these beautiful tiny steaks. They are tiny. <laughs> that are supposed to be delicious. So let's give it a try. Let's give it a shot. Let's go, Miss Ninja. Get okay. any one you want. Look at all the juices. Ooh, Ready? Let's do it. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> really good. All right, Miss Ninja, what do you think about it? I think it's really good. Guys, 
This thing works, guys. This thing tastes amazing. I have a lot of peppery flavor. We put the salt on top of it after it was done. And that crunch of the salt is amazing. The right amount of spices, everything is amazing in here. I love it. Okay, but what kind of meat is this? Because I can feel there's a difference. <laughs> okay, okay. What is it? It's elk. Oh, okay. Elk. Elk is the daddy of the deer. I don't know. It's a huge animal. Catch it's like elk. a huge deer. It's it really good. Amazing. It's really good. This is one of the favorite things that people eat out there when they hunt and and when they go for this is because they want to try this meat. It's amazing. It's really good. But it's, it's chunky. But it's not gamey at all. <laughs> Do you feel gaminess? No, not at all. No gamey at all. Really good. So guys, you should take a look at this thing. It just came out on the market. It's amazing. It's really good, mm. and it goes well with anything. You know, elk, bison. Uh, what else we have here? Alligator, ducks, uh, also it's pheasant, for wild, whatever. For ma mainly wild meat. Everything is for wild game. Uh, game. Wild okay. game. And it's Got really it. good. Really good fish. Really good. Recommendable. I think it's good. I think it's real good. I think it's amazing. I think it is delicious, brother. And sisters. And guys, if we made you hungry, please hit us with a like. Lots of likes. Subscribe to the channel, share with your friends and family, and don't forget to leave your comments on there. Did you ever try this thing? Was good? Yeah, have you? It has. You have to be careful when you cook it because it can dry out real quick, but this is perfect, man. Leave your comment down there, guys. That's all for today, but remember that I love you. Mm, we love you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.